From growing up in Ypsilanti to his love of Detroit sports, a 19-year-old is quickly making a name for himself with his freestyle rapping skills. Unlike other high-profile rappers of his generation, uh, he doesn't swear in his songs. Jamie Edmonds introduces us to Kid J. Ypsilanti, not exactly the recording capital of the world, but there is a local kid born and raised here who's trying to make it big as a rapper. Welcome to the 734. Welcome to the 734. It's the 734. Welcome his hometown pride is all over his music. The area code of the Ypsilanti area in one rap, the name of a Detroit Lions legend in another. I kind of feel like I'm super big like Megatron. Kid J is Ypsilanti, and Ypsilanti is what made him the rapper he is today. Growing up, uh, it was kind of hard. Uh, we lived in like, I guess what you can say is the projects. <laughs> we just had to do anything to get by. His real name is Jason O'Banner Jr., now 19. O'Banner says he started putting pen to paper at an early age. Rap became part of my life when I was around probably 10 or 11. Uh, I fell in love with music through Lil Wayne, J. Cole, uh, fell in love with poetry. It was around that time that he went to his dad, Jason O'Banner Sr., to tell him about his dream. He came to me and it was like, Dad, I can rap. And you know, you kind of like throw it off as a parent. You're like, man, you can't rap, you ain't doing nothing. So then I walked in one day and heard him upstairs and I was like, he's pretty good. So we kind of, I said, I'll put you on a talent show. You ready for a talent show? He said, yeah. Caught up day one, the talent show. Clearly, this kid had something special. His raps are all about his real life. My music is all written, and it's written just by me. Kid J doesn't swear or talk about violence in his music. It's a different approach to rap. My message is you don't have to use a whole bunch of swearing and cuss words and all the violence that rap is known for, you know, how, how raw it is and how people tell their story and with swear words, uh, I don't find the need to do that. To Kid J, it's all about positivity. On top of writing and rapping and taking classes at Eastern Michigan University, he takes his positive message to school. Just to stay motivated, and it's okay to just, to just be you, even if that means being outside your box. All of the hustle has gotten Kid J recognition locally. His name has created buzz nationally as well. He's been invited to open for some really big names. I performed in Detroit, Fox Theater, uh, for 5,000 people with Jermaine Dupri and uh, like the whole cast of the rap game. Um, opened up for T.I. So far, it's been quite a ride for son and dad. Poppinger, that's what they call it, Poppinger. Kid J says he'll continue to create as long as he's loving the journey and he's inspiring others. Look for his music on Instagram and Spotify. Remember my name shining in the spotlight. Watch on my wrist, just making sure that my time's right. Sour like a limelight, I can do this all night. Before my grandma passed away, she told me, Jay, don't fold. I guess I do got to sew, but people just failed to know. Next up for Kid J is a showcase in D.C. and then a concert in Atlanta. And the hope is the right eyes and ears see and hear him and he gets that big break. And when he does, he says he'll bring the whole city of Ypsilanti with him. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.